Has the value of your home dropped since you bought it? Do you owe more than it is worth? I'd like to share with you some information about your options if you find yourself in this all too familiar situation. Hello, I'm David Candler Hicks of Alliance Legal Group. We are a Florida-based law firm that focuses on foreclosure defense and other alternatives to foreclosure. Every day we see cases just like yours where people owe significantly more than their homes are worth and as a result they're struggling to get by or are facing foreclosure. So what options do you have in this situation? Join me as we explore this topic together. So you owe more than your home is worth. What options do you have? Many people believe that they should be entitled to a principal reduction from the bank. After all, it's not their fault that the property values dropped, and the banks, as professionals, should have known better. Unfortunately, while there's a certain allure to this argument, principal reductions are actually fairly rare. Though not impossible, banks are obviously reluctant to write off large sums of money if they can avoid doing so, so most loan modifications involve reducing interest rates, lowering monthly payments, and often extending the terms of the loan. Rarely do we see a forgiveness of any principal balance. If you decide not to keep the home, then you have other alternatives in the form of a short sale or a deed in lieu. In a short sale, the bank agrees to allow you to sell the property to a third-party purchaser for less than the total amount that is owed on the mortgage. Short sales are now supported by certain federal government initiatives, making it harder for banks to deny your request to short sale the property. These same programs may also shield you from liability for a deficiency judgment. If that doesn't work, you can try to offer the deed to the property to the bank in lieu of going through the foreclosure process. Again, this option is backed by government programs that reduce your risk and provide incentives to banks to accept this option. Of course, in either case, only you can decide whether you want to stay in the home or move out. If you want to stay, seeking some form of modification may be your best option. If you would prefer to leave, a short sale or deed in lieu may be the way to go. Of course, there are many options depending on the circumstances of your case, and only by discussing your case with an experienced foreclosure defense attorney can you come up with the best course of action for your particular situation. I'm David Candler Hicks with Alliance Legal Group. Thank you for watching.